Let me show you how you can do Salesforce data export. Your data should never be stuck in one place. I will show you a clear and intuitive way to download Salesforce data into CSV. Import to Wizard allows to download accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, notes from Classic and Lightning, tasks, events, cases, knowledge base articles, groups, users, any custom object, and much more. You need to go to import2.com. Import2 offers a free trial for its customers. Sign up for instant access and try the functionality. Type in your name, email, and select the password to sign up. OK, you're in. You get to Wizard Dashboard. Here you select the function you need. Start new export. First, you select an app you import from. I have a list of cloud apps already added to my Import to Wizard account. For the first time, you just press a plus sign to add a new connection of the Salesforce. Then, you can select what data you export from Salesforce. I select Leads. And here, it is possible to set up export from Salesforce one time or regularly into Google Sheets, let's say daily or weekly. It then goes automatically. I go for one time option now. On the next step, you select from the list what fields you want to have in your export file. You can add all the fields you wish. There is a list of related objects data. I select here to add full name of the one who created the lead. Once ready, you can reorder fields. and press Save to continue. Then you preview records that you have selected. Then you can select to add a filter by any field. I decided to have only converted leads in my file. And that's it! You can press Download CSV to download it to your computer. Here's the file with leads data you selected downloaded to your computer. I opened a CSV in Google Sheets. Now, I will quickly show you how you can export tasks with related users and accounts. When setting up export, you control which data you want to have in your export CSV file. Again, add any fields you need. I select to include related account data. You can search for the field by name, just type it in in the search window. Then I select to include task assignee full name into my export file. Once you are done with the selection, press Save to continue. Now you can go and download a CSV file or you may apply some filters to have better tasks overview. I want my file to include only tasks assigned to a specific user. Here I just type it in. Here you go! If you do not want to change anything, you just press Download CSV. The file is downloaded to your computer and you can use it the way you planned.
Make sure to subscribe to get notified when we publish new video on export and import of business data.